morning to you. Uh, thank you to uh, Mr. Talams and yourself and Janice for the opportunity. Ramam el May, Ruk update ra adra blul. Girel sel mo public hearing ra motaletele la ra la dengi abol laurier tel solar. Ang artang lobangge ka matu ol baules ang iya director ra administration. Maging artang et magal mom sa der tel mo public hearing. A orang spa ay moringi ra klugo ra kapsinge. Lomu ra Elon Maclo ka matedo ba di moringi ra PCC cafeteria. Magi ospeer tel te a le mal mga madara rogul adra balu. Mal mera tel orang spa ay mal klugo tutle la o may. Membreng sa emesang a presentation er gumam elgirel sel mal botle tele lagi maplar sel arala solar tel current tel structure arala tinggi malwaise yaku tel te al sangat matul paules mengoradi mo meski da brief overview ra tel solar rate. Ah, mesti lang ay sabong ah ngidutan mo ra listeners ra Palawai Radio. Mal mesti lang ah sa Salvador, Mr. Salvador Talams, give us a chance in May magi update ra okay ka lang mal gire la some very important issues that are going to happen. Uh, and I, I just want to let the public know that uh, it's, uh, it's good news. Sometimes when we come, a lot of people think that we're here just to give bad news. But uh, in this case, uh, we have some good news to give to the, to the general public. Uh, as you know, Tele Solar PV, PV stands for Photovoltaic uh, Solar Energy. Uh, PV is just an abbreviation. And with the uh, Solar PV, uh, tell solar PV uh, IPP uh, basically basically tara electric company and then instead of generate a dengue lo spera diesel or fossil fuel lo spera sun energy it'll convert in more kilowatt hours and uh, it's usually cheaper and and more affordable than 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 what we're spending on on on, on diesel so uh this uh short uh, uh radio talk show is just to inform the public uh, how that uh that rate will be applied and what to expect uh, from uh from the new ipp that's uh uh, expected to be commercially operational in uh, December uh, December 2023, but I just want to note that I can give the best rate, more uh, effective until uh, maybe January 2024. And the reason why that is is because um, uh, Tele Solar PV IPP they uh, will start to generate a uh, 20% energy in more grid. invoice we haven't started paying the cost of uh, uh, the the solar energy that's being generated by the by the IPP. So, uh, if we if we can just show slide one, uh, I just want to remind the customers that uh, uh, what's the composition of the electric rates. Sell the message sell a slide one. I got a kilowatt hours or the segital rate the harar harar uh, the the energy the 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 energy rate uh, c c consists of what we call the energy cost uh, plus the fuel cost. SL energy cost uh, I get a uh, cost associated with the the generation of electricity minus the fuel. That include it includes uh, uh, personnel. Uh, maintenance, ma, ma, ma gelegora, capital improvement projects. And part of the capital improvement projects are Tegidil Solar or IPP, while renewable energy investment uh, cost. And uh, in the new rate, um, this energy cost will increase by at least uh, 0 0.04 cents. And, and why is that? Uh, the reason why we're increasing the energy cost by 0 0.04 cents uh, is it's because PUC Agirel Harartel IPP for the infrastructure cost, ma uh, maintenance, ma ma cost to generate to tell solar energy il meta PUC, and we're buying that solar energy at uh, 14.25 cents. So the four cents uh, we're collecting from all our customers. Uh, 
Al most of them will have till IPP at 14.25 cents or three million dollars uh, a year to generate uh, less uh, to 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 generate uh, the solar energy. But I want to make it clear that uh, till 14.25 cents per kilowatt hour from solar energy, ako kapeta aral ra diesel. Right now, uh, PUC uh, haraw uh, around 21 cents to 22 cents per kilowatt hour for diesel. Um, compare, um, compare, um, compare, uh, 21, 21 to 22 cents and more at uh, 14.25. That's a big savings. So with that, we can transfer that savings and more uh, okay. So now that's the energy cost. So the border fuel cost uh, because the solar IPP uh, generate uh, 20 percent uh, renewable energy. And that means I get a diesel generator, so ngara dengi bura imelig ma ma malagal will not be generating as much as as they are now. We will re be reducing the uh, uh, the amount of generating that's coming from the power plant, meaning less uh, diesel fuel. So we will be lowering the fuel cost of the uh, energy rate by at least uh, 0 0.05 cents. Uh, and if you guys, if, if the customers recall, when we had an oversight hearing with the, with the Senate, uh, and the uh, time, uh, a late uh, Senator Regis Agitaya uh, was, was uh, still the chairman of the uh, the, the committee on uh, oversight and the PUC. Ngulagel was saying, how by how many cents would you expect uh, uh, with the solar IPP coming in? Uh, will you lower the rate? And we told him between one to three cents. But we were able to uh, lower the energy rate because the the fuel rate by at least zero point uh, uh, zero five cents. So it's it's a little bit way lower than 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 what we we forecasted. Can we go to the second slide? So if we go to the, if we look at the second slide, uh, this is an example of uh, what you uh, what you can expect because of the solar IPP. If you look at the first table, uh, that's the rate right now. Uh, that's the rate right now without the solar. So sell the measure sell the first line say say the residential rate, uh, residential one zero to one fifty kilowatt hours. Right now, our base rate uh, 0 0.052 cents, and without uh, without the IPP, the fuel rate or AFPAC, ang 0.21 cents. Uh, so your total tariff right now that you're paying at the moment, uh, 0 0.26 uh, 26 cents or 0 0.265. So then, when you go down to the next table, and then we start to include the IPP. Uh, if you look at the residential rate, uh, uh, residential one, zero to 150, uh, if you notice, we increased the, the base rate or the energy rate by 0 0.092. And again, uh, the base rate, uh, for the maintenance cost, for the operational cost. And, and not only that, uh, Tel IPP, like I said, is another electric company. They have to recover their the cost of their operation. Say give it 0.092 cents, while cost and more IPP in order for them to recoup their investment for the next uh, uh, 20 years. Then when you go to the AFPAC, uh, which is the next uh, slide with the IPP, we plan on reducing the the fuel rate by 5.3 cents. So if you look at the if you compare the two, the AFPAC without IPP is 21 cents, and then the AFPAC with IPP is 16 cents. So you can see a savings, uh, a, a very big savings, uh, and that savings will be transferred to our customers. So that will equal to about a total tariff rate of about uh, 0 0.25 uh, uh, cents. Can we go to the next slide, the last slide? And on the last slide, um, this is basically what your bill will look like uh, without uh, uh, your bill will look like with the new uh, with the new rates. And uh, this is just an example because um, right now the elect right now the fuel um, the fuel price that PUC is paying now. Uh, from the fuel supplier is around 
two dollars and seventy cents per per gallon. So uh, if you look at the if you look at this it, with the new IP with the IPP coming online uh, December. If you're a residential customer, we're looking at the the, the very first line. Eh? If you're if you're a residential customer using 100 kilowatt hours uh, a month, your bill right now is 26 point uh, 26 dollars and 50 cents. But come the IPP, uh, your bill will be only 25 dollars and and 20 cents. So that's a that's a savings of around one dollar and and 30 cents. And the more you use, the the more savings that uh, uh, you'll actually get. So again, like I said, this is a little bit of a good news. This is just a brief uh, explanation of what's going to be explained at the at the public hearing tomorrow at the PCC cafeteria at 6:30 p.m. So uh, we, we're inviting the public to come. Uh, we have a, a, a couple of more slides to show that uh, are uh, a little bit in more detail about uh, the IPP, uh, how long they'll be here, and uh, what to expect from now until the next 20 years. Uh, I, I, think, I think the public has heard uh, uh, in many of the oversight hearings and some of the public um, announcements that we've done that the, the solar IPP is uh, uh, under a contract with PUC for the next 20 years. And in the next 20 years, they will be uh, operating and, 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 and producing solar energy. But I also wanted to tell the public that um, uh, we have been testing the, uh, the IPP and uh, injecting uh, renewable energy into the grid. Uh, and, and not a lot of people have noticed because um, that's how smooth uh, the energy is, uh, is actually moving. So there was one time where uh, we shut off uh, both IMALIC generators for at least uh, two to three hours. And nobody really noticed because uh, the IPP is operating as, as, as designed. Uh, and, and we can expect more, more, more and more uh, operations like that. Uh, and in turn, uh, there will be savings uh, to the customers. So uh, that's all we have uh, for this morning. Uh, it's really just a brief of uh, what to expect tomorrow at the public hearing. Magimran invited everyone who is uh, uh, able to attend tomorrow, 6.30, at the, at the PCC cafeteria. So long, TV. I would just like to add, because uh, we do have an uh, information sheet that we have the public hearing. 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 Information sheet. Tamal sabi hindi ko la officer gama malubot tamer office or at the email provide ng appeal mortir. Mangsailin mo yung ringi masubo ringi mal mera public hearing el koraungi la al do do el lo do lo do ngalia talatelel mal may ang maungi la discussion ra gama malubot tiri. And then like ayi the sal mal. Aktil mo tal mal di mga mga madawra at adrablo, mal merit a orange square aklugo, ngamu era elon maklogo matedo, baldi moringira PCC cafeteria, sulang.